A jury is still deliberating tonight in the trial of a Euclid police officer. Michael Amiot is accused of assault and a civil rights violation over this 2017 traffic stop. The prosecutors say he used excessive force when he repeatedly punched Richard Hubbard. The defense says Hubbard was resisting even though Hubbard never hit back. News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison has been covering this case from the start and has more on today's deliberations. The jury has been deliberating for about four hours here inside Euclid Municipal Court. They're deciding whether Euclid police officer Michael Amiot's actions were appropriate or illegal. The defendant Michael Amiot is charged. The jury of seven women and three men will determine whether Michael Amiot is guilty of two counts of assault and a civil rights violation for beating Richard Hubbard during this 2017 traffic stop. Almost five years ago, a bystander's cell phone captured the stop on camera. The video made national headlines. Dashcam video also revealed what happened after Amiot pulled over Hubbard for a red light violation. It shows him tell Hubbard to get out of the car. Then he slammed Hubbard to the ground, tried to kick him, and punched him repeatedly. During the five-day trial, the city's special prosecutor argued Amiot used excessive force. You'll see the number five hammer strikes Bam, bam, bam in, the, in the face. He jumps on top of this guy that's wiggling around on the ground like, ah, he's screaming. And he starts pounding on his face. At one point, Hubbard says, I never touched him. The only time I touched him is when I'm holding on to him. Amiot's attorney argued even though Hubbard didn't swing back, he still resisted as proof. She showed where Hubbard's girlfriend repeatedly screams at him to stop during the incident. You don't say that while someone is doing nothing and being beaten. You say that when someone is resisting, and that resistance is creating the consequence of a use of force response. We reached out to the city of Euclid today to ask what they'll do if Amiot gets convicted. After all, he is still a member of their police force, but no one responded. In Euclid, I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison.